so we're all grounded until further notice, but we still want to take pictures, so what can we shoot without leaving the front door? For our first shoot at home challenge, we're going to try and do an analog recreation of the Flaming Dune painting using Fuji Instant 5.4 film. And then I'm going to try and do a Polaroid transfer from it. So to do a Polaroid transfer, all you're really doing is you shoot the Polaroid normally, but you develop it on a medium that's not the standard photo paper that comes in the Instant film. So basically what you do is you take your picture as normal, you pull your Polaroid out, you wait for 20 seconds, you then pull it out onto the paper and you roll the chemistry out into the paper and it will develop your instant film onto the paper. So we're going to shoot Jamie as Flaming June on a Polaroid, sorry, FP100C, on the Wister, if I just move it around, I've got Jamie and the Wister. Yay. <laughs> and we're going to see what we get. You might have noticed by now that everything in the room is pretty green. Well, I knew that the out-of-date Fuji film had a very heavy magenta cast to it, so I very elegantly jammed a teal gel in the window. I use teal because I don't actually have green. So the daylight on one side is being controlled by the teal and diffusion gels, and on the other side of the room I've just got a bit of fill light coming from a 4x4 softbox. Time that for about three minutes. The first one we did didn't come out very well. Um, it didn't really make that much contact with the paper and it was very, very broken up. So I'm going to try wet paper now. So that is my thoroughly wetted out piece of paper. 20 seconds. Nice and even. Okay, that's the right amount of time. Anyway, let's see what we got this time. The transfer is very good, but it's come over in a negative. The first wet paper transfer transferred well, but the image was solarized. Solarizing is what happens when the film receives a flash of light while it's developing. The last one came out solarized, I think, because there was too much light. So I'm going to hide and do this under the dark cape. So I'll see you in a minute. Wow, it's really dark in here. So this does not make it easier. I'm still filming you. <laughs> <laughs> you see which finger I'm holding up. Best one by far so far. I'm going to wait for the sun to go down a bit and then do a few more. It's a, a nice evening. And I've got another 250 watt flash gun just outside. You right there, Liam? Yeah. Tough life being a cat. So I'm trying a Polaroid transfer onto photo paper and see what I get. It's kind of cool. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I have to do this really fast. So start that, pull that. I've got 20 seconds. Just kind of get the edge of that. 17, 18, 19 seconds. That went down like that. It didn't go down straight. I'm give it a good hard roll. Roll it into the paper. I've done it three times. And now develop for two minutes and see what we get. Oh my god. <gasps> That's beautiful. So this is how you do a Polaroid transfer. Soak a sheet of heavy paper in water, take your picture as normal, 
Pull the film out as normal. Wait 20 seconds. As soon as 20 seconds is up, pull the pull apart film apart and place the negative negative side down onto the wet paper and then immediately roll the chemicals into the paper with a roller. Leave for around three minutes before pulling the negative away. Immediately encounter elation or extreme disappointment depending on the result. Instant film is magic because every shot is one of a kind. Polaroid transferred doubly so because it's so unpredictable. I have one more box of instant 5x4 film left. Let me know in the comments what I should do with it. There will be another lockdown photography challenge from me on Tuesday. Until then, stay safe.